God's wanting us to contend for victory, that we win. You know, the battle's not over until we win. And so a lot of people are are believing a lot of different ways and all this. And I think when it comes to who's going to win the election, how this is going to go, I believe in this particular scenario, the Lord is saying it's in the hands of the church. If they will show up, I think there'll be victory. If they don't, I think we're going to go into a very, very difficult season. But I sense, I sense victory coming. I sense strength coming. Steve, I I believe God wants to see the goodness of the Lord magnified in the land of the living yet one more time. Well, I believe that too. And, you know, I wrote a book about Trump called God and Donald Trump, and we're not here to promote my book, but the whole purpose was about the prophecies, uh, mainly with Kim Clement, but also Chuck Pierce and some others. Lance Wall now, who fell before 2016, that Trump would win. And it looked impossible up to and including Election Day, yet he did. Then there were a lot of prophets saying he'd win in 2020. You know, looking back, I think a lot of people jumped on the bandwagon. And now here we are in the do-over year. And I'm I'm not going to get you to say who you think is going to win. I mean... God is in control of that, but um, what do you think is going to happen if he, if uh, Trump doesn't win and and uh, Kamala Harris and the left get in? Well, if they do get in, I believe that we're headed for a socialist concentration camp style of uh, governing. 